I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So they're really not with it. Let's go. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Not keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are looking to buy the cheapest and most reliable Madden coins on the market, head over to buymaddencoins.com. They guarantee a five minute delivery on all purchases and offer 24 7 customer support. Use code MAZE at checkout for 10% off. What the frick is up, everybody? What is going on, everybody? Mando's back, back with another Madden 20 video. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going over my first money play of Madden 20. Before we get into the video, I'd like to give a shout out to a comment from one of my past videos. This one is from The Lens Man. He says, just throw a streak. It's a touchdown every play. And all I got to say is thanks for the tip, Lens Man. I guess I never thought of that. I guess I didn't know it was that freaking easy to score a touchdown. I guess none of us knew that you could just throw a streak for a touchdown. But thank you, Linsman. Give it up for Linsman for the awesome comment. I think that's kind of how I want to go the direction with these comments in the beginnings. Because I get some stupid comments sometimes. People trying to hate on the channel. People being mean. And so maybe I just want to roast them at the beginning of the video instead of give a shout out. I don't know. You guys let me know. Do you guys Would you guys rather me roast stupid comments? Or give shout outs to funny or good comments. You guys let me know. But anyways, in today's video, we're going over the first money play that I've posted this year. I haven't posted any money plays. I've just posted one offensive tip and it wasn't even really that good of a tip. It was just how to beat man coverage essentially. But this is going to be a money play. And this is the money play that a lot of people are using online. So if we're hopping in, you see we're in practice mode. And I got to say this year in Madden 20, they kind of made it so money plays aren't as common. One play touchdowns don't happen as often. That's something I definitely noticed. And so it's a lot harder to get those 99 yard bombs and kind of manipulate the coverages the way you want. As far as I know so far, I haven't found one play that is a one play beats any coverage. You know, like every year there's like one play and there's typical, typically plays that can beat every coverage. I haven't really labbed too much, but I haven't really found anything online that is like universal going to beat every coverage. But in this video, this is going to be actually more of a... Um, More of a concept, that's the word I was looking for, a concept on how to beat cover three. So cover three, in my opinion, is always the easiest coverage to beat and manipulate for a one play touchdown. That's because the outside guys tend to play down on the corners and out routes a little bit more, which enables other guys to go over the top of them. So you see we're on practice mode now, like I already said. We're, we're going to be the Raiders. We're going to be going against the Jaguars. Now, the reason I chose the Jaguars is because... Uh, they probably have the best DBs in my opinion. They got Jalen Ramsey. And so I'm going to be showing you guys the Jaguars. We're going to be in nickel normal. And I'm going to call. Um, I'm going to show you guys the play against the cover three, cover two, cover four, and then man coverage. So we're going to start against the cover three because that is the one play touchdown. <clears throat> On offense, I am in the, the uh, West Coast playbook, which is an alternate playbook. I'm going to be out of gun bunch week. And so, again, like I said, this is a concept. You don't need to comment what playbook is this in uh, because it's going to be in just about every playbook. You will find this concept in every playbook. If it doesn't have bunch, there's going to be something similar to bunch that has the same concept. And the play that I'm calling is stick. Um, and the concept, if you're looking in your own playbook and you want to find a play that's similar, if it doesn't have this exact play, um, another play that will work would be corner strike. Another play that would work, uh, I believe you can make Z spot work. Um, but my favorite is with stick, and that is because the corner route on the outside is very fast. It's not a deep corner like if you look at corner strike and Z spot. Uh, Z spot at the bottom, you see the corner route is pretty deep, and it's on the inside receiver. Stick, the corner route is on the outside receiver. So in my opinion, it's a lot better if you run it with the corner to the, the corner route on the outside. So again, if you look, you see the, out, the farthest right receiver is the corner route. So that's what you want. Also, you're going to want your fastest receiver right here where Antonio Brown is. Um, Antonio Brown, I don't think is the fastest, but he's the best receiver, so I just put him there because I want to throw to him. And then um, your best route, or it doesn't really matter the other guys, but um, this this 16 is going to be the corner route. So I'm going to call stick, and we're going to come out against the cover three. All right, so coming out in the cover three, you see it is like base aligned right now, so there are two high safeties. Normally in your cover three, you're only going to have one high safety. So if we go to man align, you see that is how they're going to come out. Normally there's going to be one high safety, but uh, for some reason it's coming out in baseline right now. For this to work, you do not really, it doesn't really matter if you run it to the field side or the short side. So what I'm going to do here is just max protect to give me more time. The only two routes that matter in this money play are your outside receiver Williams and then Antonio Brown in uh, the middle bunch. So all you got to do is put Antonio Brown on a fade. That is all it takes. And then you're going to motion this guy and hike it. 
and he's wide open. And I will show you in the replay why that worked. I'm sure you could see why it worked already. I don't really need to go into it too much, um, but I will show it just for fun. Actually, I'll run it one more time. So we man align. And the reason I'm man aligning is because if he comes out and he's head up on Antonio Brown, it's not going to work. So you got to be wary of that if you're running that online. There we go. One more time. Antonio Brown, not even that fast, but he's still going to take it for a touchdown. And then I'll show you guys a replay of why that's working and then how you can use this concept essentially to uh, use it in other plays. So here we are in the instant replay. Like I said, you motion this guy over and you're going to hike it right as he's in motion. The reason why is you see it's going to change the way Ramsey plays him. And that's, that's who you're trying to manipulate because Ramsey's zone right here is supposed to be deep. He's supposed to cover this deep third over here. And so you're going to manipulate him to get out of his zone and then you can get behind him. By doing that, it's because Ramsey wants to be aggressive and play this corner route. So you see he's going to stop backpedaling when he sees this corner. You see right as the corner breaks is when Ramsey breaks. And so because of this, he starts playing the corner route, starts trying to hover over top of the corner. And then because Antonio Brown is on a fade, and then this safety is all the way in the middle of the field, he doesn't have the range to get over to Antonio Brown. You pass lead him to the outside. You can see right as I let go of my pass when Antonio Brown changes direction. And then from there, he's going to be able to take it for a touchdown. I'm going to move it actually the ball over to one of the hashes, and we're going to show how it plays on each hash, just so you know whether you're running it to the field side or if you're running it to um, the short side. So again, this is base aligned. We're going to man align here. Because I'll show you what it looks like if uh, if you run it when it's base aligned. It is not pretty, and most time you're gonna throw a pick. So again, motion him out, and you have a lot more space when you run to the field side. Obviously, that makes sense. You don't need to run to the field side if you can, though. That's probably preferable, uh, just because you have a lot more space on that side. So I know I said it doesn't really matter what side of the field you run it to, but I do actually think it does, because you're gonna see Ramsey actually plays it. Um, he's playing it when we're running to the short side of the field. So if you do not run to the short side of the field, that is what I'm coming to the conclusion of. Uh, so once again, we'll run it again. Yeah, I guess short side of the field is not ideal. So don't run to the short side of the field. It does not work. Now, the other thing you don't want to do is, like I keep saying, is if this, the high safety, if we look on defense, if the high safety is, this is the high safety here, Harrison. If he's standing head up on Antonio Brown, do not run it because he is going to be in Antonio Brown's vicinity and going to be able to play it. So we run to the wide side of the field. You see the safety is head on Antonio Brown. He's directly above him. And so we're going to see how it looks when we run it this way. You see the safety stays right on him. He's still able to make almost an aggressive catch just because it's Antonio Brown. But uh, ideally, that's not a money play. You're not going to want to throw that. The only exception is if you, if you time it really perfectly. Now watch this. I'm going to low ball it. Watch this. You can, you can run that every single time. Um, there's a little pocket right there, and if you lowball it, he's going to stop. I'll do it one more time. So put Antonio Brown on a fade. Basically, right as he gets past that linebacker, you're going to lowball it. Now, if you guys think this is a cover three and it's not, so let's say it's a cover two and you're expecting it to be cover three, there are still reads for you. So ideally, you're not always going to want to max protect. So... This is gonna what the play is gonna look like. Um, you have a flat route from your tight end. You got the corner route. So basically, you're flooding the right side, and then you have a backside slant if you need it. So again, let's run it and make a read on a cover two. So again, that is our offense. That is our defense. I don't really want to go into too much detail on um, how to run a flood concept, but you see, it was a cover two, so we ended up finding our backside slant late. You could also throw it to your flat route. Again, if I switch back to the cover two. Um, you see they're in cloud flats, so the read is probably going to be to the flat route from your tight end. But again, you wouldn't know this online, so you just have to make a read and like, oh, it's cover two. There, throw to the flat route, stiff arm, whatever. You get to get about a gain of 10, so you're not out of luck if you misread it, but then there's also the opportunity if it's a cover three for one play touchdown. That's going to be exactly the same in a cover four. Um, so again, cover four. Let's say we're running hard flats in a cover four. You think maybe it's a cover three. You're going to take a shot. Motion this guy out. And I mean, you see that is just wide open right there. So um, I don't know how he, how he got hit so hard, but that was wide open. Um, and I'm not going to go over again how to read a flood concept. You guys should know that. Um, it, it's going to be just 
reading that flat defender out there but in a cover three if there's a high safety or a lot of times people are bringing their safeties down uh like right in here but anyways guys like i said this is a concept that can be used in a variety of plays a variety of different formations the main concept here is that a corner route on the outside is essentially going to manipulate that outside third corner in order to play down and hover over the corner route which will enable a receiver to get behind him if you kind of pass lead to the outside so this is a concept that a ton of people are running online and i actually do have a couple other money plays that i would like to show if you guys want to see more money plays leave a like down below comment what you guys want to see i do have offensive schemes i can run for you guys this bunch scheme is pretty solid everyone's running it online but again leave in the comments what you guys want to see and i can make it happen but anyways i will see you guys in the next video now I'm on the outside.